my name is David Clavis, and guess what? Today we're going to do another DVD opening. So today is a Friday. Yeah, and there's only two days to the Oscars. So I thought, huh, there's a Studio Ghibli film not directed by Hayao Miyazaki, which had never happened in Oscar history before, that got nominated. That, of course, is The Tale of Princess Kaguya. It was the last copy at Walmart, which is kind of weird. But I just got it, and the director is Isayo Takara. You might know him from notable works such as Pompoko and Grave of the Fireflies. And so today we will open it together. That sounds really gay, but okay. So here is my bag of Walmart, and here is the beautiful disc copy. It's a very nice golden letter, so you could touch it. It's very nice. It has Studio Ghibli on it. It's by G Kids, who is a foreign animation company thing who works for the NYCC, the New York Children's Film Festival. I don't know if I did the acronym right or stuff. Who cares? Anyway, it's a film by Isaiah Takata. Just says right there. A film by Isaiah Takata. Yeah, okay. And it looks great just by the cover. And here's the back. It looks very beautiful. I'm going to take you a look a little. So it's rated G in Canada. No D in the States. I think it's PG in the States. That's what I saw in the trailers. And yeah. And then that's the disc. And we are going to read the back. The boring part. Yeah. From Studio Ghibli, the studio that brought you the Academy Award winning Spirited Away. Dun -dun -dun. My Neighbor Totoro and The Wind Rises comes a powerful and sweeping epic that redefines animated storytelling and marks a triumph high point with an in, within an extraordinary filmmaking career for director Isao Takada. Makes sense, he got nominated for an Oscar. Um, the found inside a shining stalk of bamboo by an old bamboo cutter and his wife, a tiny girl grows rapidly into an equis young lady. The mysterious young princess enthralls all who encounters her, but ultimately she... Yeah, what? Where am I? She must confront her fate. The punishment for her crime, voiced by Chloe Grace Moretz. If I say Hugo, I think. Hugo. I know that she was in Hugo. Um, James Can. Don't ask me. I don't know who James Can is. And Mary Steenburgen. Who are these people? Anyway, so over two hours of bonus features. Announcement at the completion of the film, Japanese trailers and TV spots, uh, plus I saw Takata and his tale of the Princess Kaguya, a feature length documentary on the making of his masterpiece. That's cool. It's also by Universal. Yeah, I gotta, like, it's Universal distributed. That's kind of weird. Yeah. So now it's time to open it! Okay, so let's find some scissors. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take it out of the Blu-ray. Here it is, it's so suspenseful. Okay, so are you ready? Are you one, are you two, are you three? Oh yeah, a uh, person in my class had his birthday today. And another person in my class had its birthday yesterday, who's actually one of my friends of mine, and I forgot to say happy birthday. So I said happy birthday today. That's a cute little story. Anyway. Her name was Sarah. And the person that had the birthday today was, um, Simon. He has afro hair. Anyway, it's cool. He's a nice good dude. I met him in my old school. And then he disappeared after grade five. And then I met him again here. I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or really creepy. Okay. So it's open. It's open. It's open. And here we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, look at this. It's a flyer song of the sea that's coming out. It looks awesome. Gonna get it when it comes out. Now, I that, That's a movie that I'm looking forward to. I love The Secret of Kells. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the this is the DVD for The Tale of Princess Kaguya. It's purple. Nothing much. Then we're gonna turn it over here. I see. 
And here's a Blu-ray, which is obviously like from a Universal Blu-ray. And here's a DVD. Yeah, where should we? Uh, the documentary, right here. It's a DVD copy of it. It looks cool, really cool. I've never seen actually a bonus disc with a documentary feature in it. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm excited to see it. I'll do a review as soon as possible of the film. And yeah, I'm possibly going to watch it tonight. Not a bad idea. Anyway, so I guess that's goodbye. And see you later in the next opening. Possibly Big Hero 6. Which is like in a week.